Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of year once again. The hype train has left the station and we are officially on the road to WW2K20. So today we're going to talk about five things that I think this game desperately needs in order for it to be a contender this year. But before we do that, I want to take a quick second and actually uh, thank you guys real quick because yesterday my 2K20 reaction video ended up on the trending page for gaming. It was like 45th or 46th. And uh, out of hundreds of thousands, if not more, gaming videos that are uploaded every day, like that absolutely blew my mind. And I was just like, it made my day. Like I was completely blown away. So thank you guys so much for your support on that video. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, but enough sappy stuff. Without further ado, let's get to it. So yesterday, 2K revealed a lot of information regarding WW 2K20. Modes, cover stars, some gameplay, etc. Now that we know a little bit about what to expect from 2K20, I wanted to talk about five things that this game really need. Starting off at number one is a longer My Career. So 2K19's My Career, in my opinion, was a big step forward from previous years with a, a much better, more engaging storyline. However, it did feel a little short. Most My Careers in WWE games really only span the course of about a year or so, like up till WrestleMania. And this year, with the fact that there's two perspectives, hopefully they expand on that a little more and give us a reason to continue with the My Career even when the main story is finished. Number two, cross-platform community creations. Now, I know this is kind of a long shot, but I think I think one of the driving forces behind every single 2K game is the community creations. It's, it's really the only way to keep the game even remotely up to date with how frequently things change in WWE. Uh, I primarily play on PS4, and there's been times where I've seen creations on Xbox that just blow my mind, but I can't get them. So... Having cross-platform community creations in place would completely eliminate that problem and, and just open doors for creators to make content that's accessible to everybody. So, win-win. Number three, more fun elements. Now, I know some people disagree with me on this, and that's fine, that's cool, I'm not mad at you, but these, these extra little fun aspects like the multiverse stuff and the zombie Triple H stuff and this 2K Originals, all that nonsense, I'd love to see more of it. I think you can still be a good simulation game and have fantasy elements as well. It goes back to exactly what I said in, in my last point. It's kind of a win-win all around because you can get the best of both worlds. Number four, Universe Mode needs some love. Universe has pretty much been the same for like four years now. I wouldn't say that there have been really any significant improvements to it for a while. But here's the thing. Everybody wants... GM mode, or at least they say they do. I feel like it could be relatively easy to add some of those GM mode features to universe mode, like a draft, uh, a monetary system, a rating system. I think it's possible to have the best of both, and that could be exactly what universe needs, honestly, to take it to the next level, because at this point, I don't think we're getting GM mode. I don't think it's happening this year, probably won't happen next year, I don't know, that's just, that's just what I think, so I feel like they then need to use some resources to beef up universe mode just a little bit. Finally, number five, I say it every year because to me it's it's one of the most important features for any game ever, and that's your online multiplayer mode. So in 2K19, they have Road to Glory in my player, which is definitely a step in the right direction, but the incentives in my opinion are kind of crap. Like play a bunch of matches against opponents that are lagging around the ring and here you win a pair of like boots or a vest or something you know I just feel like I don't know I feel like it needs more online universe could be cool really any improvements to the online experience at all I'll take it at this point now as I'm sure a lot of you have also already heard Ukes and 2k have officially split so they're no longer working on the game together so this is going to be the first uh 2k game the first WWE game in a while without Ukes having 100% of their hands on it, which could mean a lot of different things. This really could go either way. So I'm not sure how many of these elements we're actually going to see uh, in the game this year, but who knows, man. We're still a little ways away. I'm sure there's more information we're going to learn pretty soon. But I want to know what you guys are hoping to see from 2K20. And I say try to keep it a little realistic. I think we know by now we're not getting to GM mode this year. I feel like they would have announced it already. I could be wrong, but I feel like they would have announced it already. Um, and, you know... We all know the type of things that aren't going to be in it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss any content. Because pretty soon we're going to be in full-fledged 2K20 mode with content coming at you every day. 
So uh, you want to stay tuned for that and all the other great stuff that I got going on around here. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, that's that. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Peace.